Once upon a time in a vibrant city known for its colorful streets and diverse community, I, Alex, found myself entwined in a world that was both enchanting and liberating. I worked at a local cafe, a cozy little place adorned with hanging plants and quirky art pieces. It was here, amidst the steam of espresso machines and the scent of freshly baked pastries, that I first encountered the world of femboys. Femboys, as I came to learn, were boys who embraced a more traditionally feminine aesthetic in their appearance and demeanor. They were a delightful contradiction to the rigid norms of gender expression. I remember the first time I saw Jamie, a regular at the cafe. With his long, flowing hair, impeccably applied makeup, and a wardrobe that seemed to be a harmonious blend of soft pastels and bold patterns, Jamie was the epitome of a femboy. Intrigued by this expression of identity, I began to explore this community more deeply. I discovered that femboys weren't just about a fashion statement, they were redefining masculinity. They were brave souls, challenging societal norms and embracing their true selves in a world that often misunderstood them. I remember one evening, Jamie invited me to a local gathering of femboys and their allies. It was an eye-opening experience. The room was filled with laughter, music, and stories. Boys dressed in skirts twirled with those in jeans, there were no rules, only acceptance. Each person there had a unique story, a personal journey of self-discovery and acceptance. One particular story that resonated with me was from a young man named Eli. He spoke about his struggles growing up in a conservative family, where being different was not welcomed. Eli found solace in the femboy community, where he was embraced for who he was. His story of resilience and courage in the face of adversity was both heart-wrenching and inspiring. As the night wore on, I found myself in awe of this community's strength and unity. They were not bound by the traditional notions of what boys should be or how they should act. Instead, they celebrated individuality and self-expression. Being a part of that gathering changed me. I began to question and explore my own identity. The femboys taught me that it's okay to break free from the mold society places us in. They showed me the beauty in being authentic, in being unapologetically oneself. From then on, I saw the world through a different lens. I became more accepting and open-minded, not just towards others but towards myself as well. My friendships with Jamie, Eli, and others in the femboy community grew stronger. We supported each other, shared our joys and sorrows, and celebrated our uniqueness. In a world often constrained by labels and stereotypes, the femboys were a breath of fresh air. They were not just redefining what it means to be a boy, they were redefining what it means to be human, beautifully complex and wonderfully unique. And I, Alex, was proud to be part of their world, a world where everyone could be their truest self.